now here's the Reds leadoff man Jonathan India and the first oh. pitch misses for ball one ground ball Olsen the flip to the pitcher covering two up two down here in the top of the eighth Next for Cincinnati, T.J. Friedel. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Lucas Litke. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. That takes low for ball one. That one pushed foul. Bounce to third. Rolls across the diamond. And that is that. Bottom of the eighth. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Marcelo Zuna. The pitch. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Benson makes the play. And a quick out number one. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Swing and a foul straight back. The 0 1. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. A solo shot. And they slice into the lead. It's 6 5. Just relentless. This team will not quit. No, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul ball. Next to hit, Orlando Arcia. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there are two down. Ian Jabot on the pitch here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The next ball. offering misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Pitch misses inside. Two and one. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. That's what the fans came to see. And this game is tied. It's 6-6. Drop the barrel right there. Got a fastball down at the knees where he'd prefer it. So many times now, guys are having to adjust to the elevated fastball. So I'm sure his eyes got big when he saw that one coming. Two outs, nobody on. Here's Matt Olson. Swing, and it's a flare down the right field line. And it drops in. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. He probably would have been able to drive that pitch on the outside if he let it just get a little deeper and look to hit it to the opposite field. But he made it work out. He's under it. Makes the catch inning over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the DH, Jake Fraley. The pitch. Just missed. That's to third. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. That one misses. Ball one. And that's in for a strike. So now one and two.
And now the lefty. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. Good job to fight that one off. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And there's a foul ball. Licky, 36 years old, and he was a compensatory draft pick back in 2008. Next pitch just misses. Now one and two. And he grounds one to the right side. The throw to first. Out number three. Three up. Back at Truist Park. Bottom nine. And here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. Going one. Movement in the bullpen. Joel Kunell loosening up for manager David Bell. Swing and a ball popped up. Bossler puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. So digging in, Michael Harris. First pitch, just misses. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. There's a strike. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Base hit center field. And the winning run is aboard. <laughs> so important to get into the fielding position as you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. One down, runner at first. And next for Atlanta, Ozzie Albies. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Next pitch has popped up. He's under it. Makes the grab. That's out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The 0-1. Hard ground ball for a base stop. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is now in scoring position. Two away. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Joel Kunell. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. He's already homered in this game. In there for strike one. Right side, Bossler. He steps on the bag, inning over on the ground out. And welcome back. Will Myers now. And the pitch. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. A new arm into the game, the righty, Kirby Yates. On the ground, out to short. Throw on to Olsen. One away in the top half of the 10. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And that one sliced foul. All tied up here in extra innings. Swings and misses, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Some really good tunnel action there. That's a picture-perfect slider to get the strikeout. Starts over the middle of the plate and then dives hard off the outside corner. You know, he's probably thinking about the fastball he got. And the throw to first is there to put an end to the inning. And one, two, three go the Reds. So we're still tied at six. 
Arcia, oh. the leadoff batter, as he one looks ball. at ball one. No if you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of oh. contact in this situation. Two balls, no strike. Bounced out to short. Barrero in plenty of time to first. One out in the bottom of the 10th. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. He's under it. Brings it in. Two up, two down. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's down and away. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Good hitters count the 2 0. And the slider just misses. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Murphy in the box now. Take strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Line drive. Makes the grab and that'll end the 11th inning set to get underway. And now Jose Barrero. First pitch oh, swinging. Wow. Extra inning certainly had a different feel starting in 2020. With a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning. And that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error. And, Boog, to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much yep. bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning. But for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. Right-handed reliever on the ground. A second might be two. Flips it for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. In now for the Reds, T.J. Friedel. First offering misses the mark. All tied up and here in extra innings. Next offering is in for a strike. There's a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back here at extras, and a new pitcher on the mound at the bottom half of the inning, Fernando Cruz. Fernando Cruz. And a pitch. Harris in the box lays off for ball one. Back to a breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire did give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. He circles the bases, and the Braves walk it off in the 11. When you get to extra innings, it seems like every guy is trying to come up with the big swing to hit the homer and end the ball game. Well, he did it. Huge swing of the bat. We're all headed home.
home run game here today. Your final score, 7-6. to six.